Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Natasha. For those who don't know, my favorite color is gray. I'm 18. You already know Aries gang. Anyway, so today we're gonna do a little bit different. So today we're gonna do like a makeup video. Well, it's not different because if you look back, I did start YouTube with a makeup video. But I haven't worn makeup in months. Like, don't count me on this, but I'm gonna check again. But I think it was two months. I have two months without wearing makeup. I do. I'm buying makeup without wearing it. Let's start. So the first thing we're going to use is a Precisely My Brow Pencil. So what I'm going to do is that I first push my hair up and then I start outlining my eyebrow. Um, and then I, while I outline my eyebrow, I start doing like little hair strokes. As you can see there. <laughs> Then I bring my hair down with the spoolie and then I start outlining the um, top part of my eyebrows. Then I start doing like light little hair strokes in the front so that it could give me like that bushy like ombre look. Not like so bushy bushy but like it shows that it has a little bit of hair there and I start passing it with my fingers and the spoolie in order for it to not be so dark in the front. If you guys have watched my other tutorials, I have used this primer before. It's a NYX Honey Dumia primer. It's very like... It has like a sticky consistency like when you put it on it's good and then when you like touch your face with your hands it has it like it feels sticky but that's actually good because then that makes your um, foundation stick to your face better and it also gives you like that glowy look that I love so much With the Infallible Full Wear Concealer in shade 360, we're going to start like outlining our eyebrows in order to clean it and in order for it to look more sharp. Also, if you haven't done your eyebrows like me, it also covers like those little hairs that you don't want nobody to see or ruins the look of your eyebrows. Because I haven't had time to do my eyebrows, so they were looking kind of crazy. And I also like starts blending the concealer out in order for it to come together with the foundation and it doesn't look like two separate things. You know more when I when we get to that part of the video. So now we're gonna use the elf sponge and then the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, foundation in 238. I, 238. I honestly like I've been wanting a matte foundation for the longest because I'm starting to not like the dewy foundations. They make me look a little bit like I'm sweating if you look up close. And this foundation is so good. I was honestly very surprised. It was my perfect match. My like you could see that it blends in well with my neck. And it's actually very full coverage. Like just with one application, I was able to cover um, most of my like dark spots. Um, I put two though because you know I'm extra like that, and I want like full full coverage. As you can see there, I was very happy with how the foundation looked. Now going back to the same concealer that we used um, to clean our eyebrows, we're also going to put it under our eyes in order to lighten under our eyes. I usually, I know that some people when they put concealer, they make like a whole triangle. I just put a little bit in the corner of my eye and then I make a line in the outer part of my eye. I also put it on my chin and also between my eyebrows. Yeah. 
as you probably see here when I blend my concealer I like blending it like outwards if you get what I'm saying like I like it to connect with my hairline because it gives me that more snatched look Now using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Get it, Guap, now let me stop playing. Now using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop um, concealer in color Warm Honey. Um, This is a concealer and a contour, so it really doesn't matter how you use it. I honestly loved how this contour looked on me. Um, it, I, it also like gives me like that type of like summer feel, going to the beach feel, where you look like more tan. If you get what I'm what I'm trying to say. I will also say that if you want your face to look like more structured and more up, try to put the contour um a little bit over your cheek line because as you blend, as you can see there, the contour tends to go a little bit down. So put it a little bit over. Now using the air sprung loose face powder, I'm going to set under my eyes, my chin, and between my eyebrows. Now in order to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Ultra Beauty Adjustable, Adjustable Coverage Foundation um, Press Powder. I honestly love this powder. It really set my face and gave me more color. Now in order to make my nose look smaller and slimmer, I press that contour down with an angle brush um with a skinny angle brush and i noticed that it makes it it does the effect of making it look smaller fyi i think i've been calling conceal um contour concealer this whole time i am so sorry now using the physician's formula um butter bronzer in uh, bronzer I think it's called, it really doesn't have a name. I think this is the medium one. Um, I start putting bronzer all over my face to give me more color. I honestly love this bronzer and it smelled amazing. As I can see there, it smelled like shea butter basically. And I honestly love the smell and how it looked on my face. Now with the NYX Professional Makeup Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, we are going to contour our nose with those two um, brown colors that are in the bottom left. And then we're going to use that yellow powder and we're, gonna, and we're only going to, with our finger, put it in the middle of our nose in order to make it more like look more bright and without having to use highlight. And then with that fluffy brush, we're going to um, take off all the powder that we put under our eyes. Now with the Per X Barbie palette, I've been hearing, I've been seeing and hearing the word Per this whole week. Um, and with that fluffy um, brush, we're going to start putting that pink and orange blush all over our cheeks and a little bit on our nose. And then back to the next professional palette, we're going to use the same two colors. And we're going to start giving our eyes a little bit of more color in order for us to not look so dead as we look right now. Now for lashes, we're going to use the Dual Glue and the I Envy Multi Angle Plus Volume Lash in Ultra 3D. I'm going to cut more than half of the lash because I noticed that when I put um, the whole lash on my eye or more than what I cut on my eye, my eye looks very like closed off like if I was, you know, high. Um, so then I put glue on it. I let it get tacky and then I start putting it on my eyes. As you can see, I struggle a lot putting eyelashes. Like it be giving, it be leaving me so frustrated. I be using the tweezers, I be using the, my fingers and it never works. Now using the MAC mascara, I'm going to put mascara on my eyelashes so that it can blend with the fake eyelashes. I honestly did not like this mascara. And the applicator was a little bit too big so you got to be careful. What's up bro? What's up? I look and think I put one of my lashes backwards. Yeah. I think I put one of my lashes backwards. 
and I'm not trying to do all this again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I'm not trying to do all this again. I am not trying to do all this again. It took me like 30 minutes just to put one on. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the next um lip pencil crayon in brown. Let's see if I oh my god, this shit don't have anything. Wait, because I had another one. What the hell happened to my other one? Give me a sec. Um I'm gonna use this one, the next professional lip pencil. Is this color? I'm gonna use the MAC in the color Cream Nude. That's how it looks, my first time using it. And I just tap it. And then I'm gonna use this. My cousin actually got it, um, gave it to me. The Revolution Makeup London. It's like a clear pink with sparkles. Yeah. So to finish, I'm gonna add the Morphine Continuous Setting Mist. Let me fix my hair. Let me fix my edges. Okay, guys. So, this is the final look. Let me show y'all. And this is the final look. Guys, thank you for watching. I am so sorry thank you like <laughs> this probably wasn't the best tutorial i need to practice more i have two months without fucking doing my makeup but thank you so much for watching i really love you i really like i um i'm so grateful for your support um if you're new here please comment like subscribe even if you're not new here please comment like you know subscribe if you still haven't you know join the team join the journey um so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Watch this too. If you don't help now, we'll look bad. Yeah, this is nice. Can't oh. stop, won't stop, get guap. <laughs> 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 <laughs>